Hi, it's Jill with Quick Flex. Um, and happy Tuesday. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing something completely different um, from anything I've done. This was an idea that, well, it, actually a request, but I think it's a really, really cute idea from um, one of my loyal customers from Hawaii. And she is helping to put together a party for her sister-in-law with an old-fashioned candy theme. So I'm working on putting together the idea that um, I came up with for the centerpieces. And first thing I'm going to do is show you, well, the cartridges I'm using is the Doodle Charm, which is one of the very, very first of the Cricut cartridges. And uh, in that cartridge, on page 128 is all this old-fashioned Christmas candy. Um, what I did is um, I didn't measure the size. I just pulled it and eyeballed how big I wanted the pieces to be. But as you can see, there's a candy cane here and there's a, I don't know, some sort of a Christmas basket. And there's some things in here that I went in and did the hide the contour and got rid of them because all I wanted was the lollipop this is kind of like a taffy and then the hard candy wrapped and then the pieces that go layered on those which this is the center of the hard candy this is the paper wrapper of the lollipop and then this is the paper wrapper of the um, the taffy piece of taffy or Tootsie Roll or whatever it is anyway that's what I did for the candy then the first piece that I'm going to be putting together here is actually an old-fashioned gumball machine and that is off of the wrap it up cartridge I have had this cartridge for at least a year and every time I look at it they are the cutest cutest images on here and I've never used it um, I, I have a ton of cartridges I've never used. I had to have them, but um, eventually I will use them all. Anyway, I did the gumball machine here, and I did this in 12 inches. This is going to be one of my centerpieces. Um, this is my first shot at it, so I don't know how it's going to look. It's all done and put together. What I did on this to finish it off is I did my faux stitching all the way around and then I took my glossy accents and in here you can't see it on the film real good but this is the hole where the gumball would come out I put some glossy in here just to give it a little texture there and then I did my piercing and put a brad a silver brad in the center of the thing that you turn to get your gumball out Okay, that's going to be my first piece. And then I'll go over my candy. I'm going to put this together real quick. And <clears throat> then we'll put together the... I think this is a really cute idea. And I think this is something... She kind of told me the colors that she wanted me to use. So I went with her choices. But I think this is such a cute theme. And what would be really cute is that you can do it in a absolutely any color that you would want. Um, let me get this done and I throw a couple sticks on here I don't think this needs too much uh, I think I'll just put two on it uh, I probably didn't need any but there we go and then I'm going to put the top piece on it and now what we're going to do for the the other candy or the other center pieces is um, she's going to put the I put the candies for her to stick in a cylinder type vase or box or something um, I may experiment a little bit with it over the weekend and see how I think it would be displayed the best um, I was trying to do it right now but I don't have the materials that I need what you really need to stick them into I was going to try and display them in these Chinese carryout boxes however I need um, some sort of a a floral sponge styrofoam thing to stick in there so I could stick my pegs in and I don't have that so my attempts failed miserably it kept falling over but I gave it a try I, I know what I can do with it I just uh, peg is too long but that's okay there's the gumball machine 
Then, on the cartridge, the gumball machine and this cartridge is on page 44. The other thing that I did was um, the lollipop. And let me see if I can find that. Uh-oh. Getting a runny nose. Not good. Um, let me see if I can find the lollipop on here. Wanted to show, oh, here it is. The lollipop is on page 54. And what I did on this one is I didn't want the stick. I didn't want all of this. All I wanted was the lollipop because I got these sticks at Michael's that are actually candy. Um, they're in the candy area and they are actual to make candy, lollipops, chocolate lollipops or whatever. They're actual candy sticks. I wanted to use those on my lollipops. So all I did was cut out the base layer and the swirly. I did my contour and removed this little centerpiece because I didn't need it. All I wanted was the swirl and this base. So that's all I cut out on that. And this is the lollipop on the um, stick. Now, what I also have to make my pieces is these are actually barbecue um, skewers, like to make shish kebabs or anything when you're going to cook out. And these I get at the grocery store. I don't know if you have a Woodman's in your area. These I got from Woodman's, but I think any large grocery chain carries these. And they're just, again, shish kebab skewers. The reason I wanted these is because I wanted the sharp points to stick them down into the styrofoam. And these are very, very reasonable. You get 100 sticks for $1.99. Can't get much cheaper than that. So what I'm going to do is I have all my candy made up here. And what I did is on the taffies, I, oh, I grabbed a different color. That's okay, I got one here done like that. Um, I took stamps, one that said happy birthday, one that said celebrate, and then one that was just a design to kind of give them a candy wrapper effect and also because it's a birthday party. So then I took one of my sticks and the pointed end down and the flat end up and I am going to take and dab a little bit of hot glue on it on the tip and I'm going to put a lollipop on the top of the stick and you can put them on any way that you want. Each stick is going to have three pieces of candy. Then I'm going to take one of my hard candies. This one's a yellow one, yellow one. I think what I'm going to do is a yellow one, red on this one. I did them all in different colors. And again, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on here. You don't need very much and you don't need, because they're paper and small, they don't move all over the place. I'm going to put my yellow piece of candy there. Then I'm going to take, and on this one, I think I'm going to do the Celebrate. And I'm going to put that right about here. Yep. Right there. There we go. A little tiny bit of glue. I'm going to lay my Celebrate on there. I don't want them lined up perfectly straight. I want them all kind of off like pile up candy. Then I'm going to flip it over. And I've got the reverse. I did all of my candy in um, reverse so that they matched up when they were flipped over. I'm going to put my lollipop on there. And I'm not even gluing these shut. At, well, maybe I should. I didn't on that one. Nah, no big deal. I'm not going to glue them shut. I'm just going to leave them. Then I'm going to put that one on here. And this is going to be very, very, very simple and short video tonight, but I'm not going to work late tonight. I've been doing this every night, burning the midnight oil, and I'm getting over exhausted. So I decided tonight is going to be at 8 o'clock, I'm calling it a night. I've been functioning on like four hours of sleep a night, and it's starting to catch up with me. I'm getting too old for that. Anyway, and there we go. There's one of my pieces. Now, I have I have another one done here, and I have another one in the orange. And what she's going to do with these, again, is they're going to be 
probably three. I would say I would probably do three, these three different colors in the base or whatever she's going to use. Again, it could be a box like this. If I had, I suppose what you could even do is fill it up with jelly beans and stick these down inside the candy. Um, or there's all sorts of things you could do to, to stick them if you didn't use that floral, uh, well, I don't know what it's called, styrofoam, floral styrofoam. But I hope you can tell by looking there, this is what the pieces are going to be like with my hands in the way, but however she's going to set, set them up. And I'm going to have these on all of the tables. And <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a happy birthday banner and putting all these pieces of candy. I hope they don't have that far, too far back uh, of candy all over it. I'm going to try and balance these so I can get you a... Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick them in here and get Minnie out of there and try and give you a picture. They kind of stand in there. Of course, you're not going to load it up with a bunch of sticks, but with the gumball machine, and I'm going to move my camera over here so you can kind of get an idea. I think it's a really cute idea for a birthday party for any gender. Just cute. Or for a shower or anything. But... There you go. And you again, you can do any colors that you'd like. Um, oh, I've got, probably got so much going on in the background there with all my stuff hanging up on my... Oh, I, well, you could get the idea. Anyway, that's pretty much it for tonight. I just wanted to show you I didn't totally slack off today. Let's try another one in there. Those are going to be really cute. You'll have to let me know what you think. Have a good night. Bye-bye.